Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some ways to fix Modern Warzone 2.0 crashing, not launching, can't start or not working on Windows PC. Method 1. Stay up to date. Make sure that your game, graphics drivers, and Windows operating system are always up to date. To do that, exit Steam or Battle.net, then run Steam or Battle.net as administrator. If there is a new update for Warzone, update it. Next, for NVIDIA users, open GeForce Experience, then go to Drivers. Click on Check for Updates. If an update is available, update it. You can also get the latest updates for your graphics drivers by visiting the NVIDIA AMD homepage. Next, go to Settings then click on Windows Update. Click on Check for Updates. If an update is available, update it. At last, verify integrity of game files. For Battle.net users, open Battle.net then select Warzone. Click on the gear icon, Settings, and then click on Scan and Repair. For Steam users, open Steam, then go to Library. Right-click on Warzone then pick Properties. Click on Local Files. Click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once done, relaunching Modern Warzone and see if problem is fixed. Method 2. Disable Overlay. Disable all apps with overlays. To do that on NVIDIA GeForce Experience, go to Settings then you will see In-Game Overlay, just disable it. On AMD Radeon software, go to Settings. After that, go to Preferences. Look for the General section of Preferences. There, disable the switch named In-Game Overlay, by clicking or tapping on it. On Discord, go to Settings. Scroll down and you will see Game Overlay. Click on it then disable it. On Steam, go to Settings. Select In-Game. Uncheck Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game. Method 3. Stop overclocking. Disable Razer Cortex's booster and all same app. Overclocking RAM, CPU or VGA can make your system unstable or overheat and cause this error. So try to stop all overclocking before launching Warzone. In addition, you should also temporarily turn off software that accelerates the computer or increases the game acceleration, such as Razer Cortex's booster and the like. Method 4. Change the language to English. To do that, on Steam, go to Library then right-click on Warzone and pick Properties. Click on Language. Now, if your language is not English, change it to English. On Battle.net, open Battle.net then select Warzone. Click on the gear icon, Settings, and then click on Game Settings. Now, if your language is not English, change it to English. Method 5. Temporarily disable antivirus software. Antivirus and firewall software play an important role in computer security. However, these applications may prevent Blizzard software from running, installing, or patching correctly. Disable or temporarily uninstalling your security software can help resolve these issues. Method 6. Set height performance graphics for Warzone. Right-click on the desktop background then pick Display Settings. Click on Graphics. Now, scroll down and find Call of Duty Launcher application. If you don't see Call of Duty Launcher application, then click on Browse. After that, go to the location where Warzone is installed. Select Call of Duty Launcher then click on Add. 
Click on Call of Duty Launcher application, then click on Options. Choose Height Performance then click on Save. If you are using laptop, go back into Windows Desktop then right-click on the desktop then select NVIDIA Control Panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings. Click on Program Settings. Now, find Call of Duty Launcher. If you don't see Call of Duty Launcher, then click on Add. Click on Browse. After that, go to the location where Warzone 2 is installed. Select Call of Duty Launcher then click on Open. Then click on Global Settings. And chose, High Performance NVIDIA Processor. Click Apply. Play Warzone 2 normally and see if the error still occurs. Method 7. Install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. Please click the link in the description to access the Microsoft Visual C++ download page. Navigate to Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019 and 2022, download them one by one. Wait until all files are downloaded on your PC. Install all packages you have downloaded by following the instructions. Once done, again restart the PC. Finally, check if you have fixed the issue on Warzone. Method 8. Install DirectX End User Runtime. To do that, please click the link in the description. After that, click on Download button. Once the file is downloaded from the website, run the program and wait until the updated files are installed successfully. Reboot your computer and launch the game. You will not face the error now. Method 9. Move Warzone to System Drive. If you are downloaded the game and it not into your local disk drive, C, so I recommend you just move the file over to your disk drive, C. Hope this helps. Method 10. Clear Battle.net Cache To start off, make sure that you have closed the Battle.net launcher completely. In addition to that, ensure that no Battle.net processes are running in the background by opening up the Task Manager. Once you have done that, open up the Run dialog box by pressing Windows key R on your keyboard then type in percent local app data percent and then hit the Enter key. Once you are there, locate the battle.net folder and go ahead delete it. After doing that, open up the battle.net launcher and see if the problem has been resolved. Method 11. Uninstall and reinstall graphics driver. To do that, I recommend using DDU software. Display Driver Uninstaller is a driver removal utility that can help you completely uninstall AMD, NVIDIA graphics card drivers and packages from your system, without leaving leftovers behind, including registry keys, folders and files, driver store. After uninstall graphics driver is done, go to NVIDIA AMD homepage and download your graphics driver. If none of the above methods work for you, uninstalling and reinstalling Warzone is the last thing I can recommend to you. That's it guys. Please leave a comment if you have any other methods.